Vasily II Vasilevich Diomny, blind, to in Russian the 10th of March 1415, the 27th of March 1462, Moscow, was the Grand Prince of Moscow whose long reign, 1425 to 1462, was plagued by the greatest civil war of old Russian history. Vasily II was the youngest son of Vasily I of Moscow by Sophia of Lithuania, the only daughter of Vytautas the Great, and the only son to survive his father. His elder brother Ivan died in 1417 at the age of 22. On his father's death Vasily was proclaimed Grand Duke at the age of 10. His mother acted as a regent. His uncle, Yuri of Zvnigrod, Prince of Galajmerzky, and his two sons, Vasily the Cross-Eyed and Dmitry Shemyarka, seized on the opportunity to advance their own claims to the throne. These claims were based on the testament of Dmitry Donskoy, Yuri's father and Vasily's grandfather, who had stated that if Vasily I died Yuri would succeed his appanage. However, Dmitry had written the testament when Vasily I had no children of his own and it might be argued that this provision had been made only for the case of Vasily's childless death. Vasily's claim was supported by Vytautas, his maternal grandfather. The underlying causes for the great feudal war that followed are disputed. There are reasons to believe that Yuri's family, whose northern dominions were rich in salt, ore, and other minerals could offer Russia a more liberal, prosperous path of development citation needed. Upon Vytautas' death in 1430, Yuri went to the Golden Horde, returning with a license to take the Moscow throne. But the Khan did not support him any further, largely due to the devices of the Smolensk princeling and Moscow boyaran Ivan Vsevilsky. When Yuri assembled an army and attacked Moscow, Vasily, betrayed by Vsevilsky, was defeated and captured by his enemies, 1433. Upon being proclaimed Grand Duke of Moscow, Yuri pardoned his nephew and sent him to reign in the town of Kolomna. That proved to be a mistake, as Vasily immediately started to plot against his uncle and gather all sort of malcontents. Feeling how insecure his throne was, Yuri resigned and then left Moscow for his northern hometown. When Vasily returned to Moscow, he had Vsevilsky blinded as a traitor. Meanwhile, Yuri's claim was inherited by his sons who decided to continue the fight. They managed to defeat Vasily who had to seek refuge in the Golden Horde. After Yuri died in 1434, Vasily the Cross-Eyed entered the Kremlin and was proclaimed new Grand Duke. Dmitry Shemyarka, who had his own plans for the throne, quarreled with his brother and concluded an alliance with Vasily II. Together they managed to banish Vasily the Cross-Eyed from the Kremlin in 1435. The latter was captured and blinded which effectively removed him from the contest for the throne. Kazan and Shemyarka Vasily's reign saw the collapse of the Golden Horde and its breakup into smaller canids. Now that his throne was relatively secure, he had to deal with the Tatar threat. In 1439, Vasily had to flee the capital, when it was besieged by Olugmok Samat, ruler of the nascent Kazan Khanate. Six years later, he personally led his troops against Olugmok Samat but it was defeated and taken prisoner. The Russians were forced to gather an enormous ransom for their prince, so that Vasily could be released some five months later. During that time, the control of Moscow passed to Dmitry Shemyarka. Keeping in mind the faith of his own brother, Dmitry had Vasily blinded and exiled him to Uglage, 1446. Hence, Vasily's nickname the Blind, Diomni literally dark. As Vasily still had a number of supporters in Moscow, Dmitry recalled him from exile and gave him Vologda as an appanage. That proved to be a new mistake, as Vasily quickly assembled his supporters and regained the throne. Vasily's final victory against his cousin came in the 1450s, when he captured Galich Mirsky and poisoned Dmitry. The latter's children managed to escape to Lithuania. These events finally put to rest the principle of collateral succession, which was a major cause of medieval internecine struggles, later reign and policies. Now that the war was over, Vasily eliminated almost all of the small appanages in Moscow Principality, so as to strengthen his sovereign authority. His military campaigns of 1441-60 increased Moscow's hold over Sizdal the Vyatk lands and the republican governments of Novgorod and Skov. In the meantime, Constantinople fell to the Turks, 
and the Patriarch agreed to acknowledge the supremacy of the Pope in the Council of Florence. Vasily promptly rejected this arrangement. By his order in 1448, Bishop Jonah was appointed Metropolitan of Russia, which was tantamount to declaration of independence of the Russian Orthodox Church from the Patriarch of Constantinople. This move further strengthened Russia's reputation among Orthodox states. In his later years the blind prince was greatly helped by Metropolitan Jonah, boy Oz, and then by his older son Ivan III who was styled co-ruler since the late 1450s. On Vasily's death in 1462 Ivan III succeeded him as Grand Prince of Moscow. His daughter Anna was married to a Prince of Ryazin.